Four canines were added to the memorial today. The canine officers I spoke with told me the bond between them and their partners is stronger than just about any other. Come on, a boy, look at you. After more than two decades in law enforcement, Sergeant Tom Rogers is Clearwater PD's newest canine officer. 23 years of doing this, I know about law enforcement pr pretty well, but I don't know anything about these dogs, and so that's exciting to learn. What the sergeant will soon learn is what Officer Robert Peace already knows. That's why he and so many others were here to honor the canines that are no longer with us. They save you unknown how many countless times that you don't even know about, whether they're finding the guy for you or finding a gun that has been dropped by the person or evidence, they're there for you. The bonds are strong. The memories lasting a lifetime. Officer Joan Hoff is now with the University of Missouri Police, but was the first female canine deputy with the Pinellas County Sheriff's Office. They placed uh, two plaques for my first two working dogs here today. So emotional for you? Yes. <laughs> Why? They were they were my partners. Excuse me. <clears throat> they were my partners. They're their friends, their family. They're your partners. Sergeant Rogers is now embracing that bond and embracing his new role at the department. Definitely have a relationship with a new par partner. It's a, it's a life change for home, uh, obviously for the career. In all, 77 canines are buried at that pet cemetery in Palm Harbor. They come from the Pinellas County Sheriff's Office and the Clearwater Police Department. All died after retirement. None of them were killed in the line of duty. In Pinellas County, I'm Chip Osowski. Eight on your side.